Well, a new report from the American Lung Association shows many Americans who are eligible are not getting life-saving screenings for lung cancer. Naomi Ruckham has more in today's Medical Minute. Leah Phillips prides herself on living healthy. The mom of three is a runner and never smoked. So it was a complete shock when she was diagnosed at 43 with stage four lung cancer. When they came back after the bone biopsy and said you have lung cancer, you could have knocked us over with a feather. My mom and my husband and I were all in the room. According to the State of Lung Cancer Report, nearly 237,000 people in the U.S. will be diagnosed this year. And for people at high risk, only 5.8% of those eligible have been screened. We're up to 25% survival at five years, uh, which is significantly up from the 17% survival in 2015. We attribute most of this to earlier detection of lung cancers, better treatments and systemic therapies for patients who have um, lung cancer that's spread to the other parts of the body. Up to 20% of people with lung cancer have never smoked. Many are exposed to other risk factors, including secondhand smoke, air pollution, and exposure to radon gas. We Dr. Bobby Mahajan is a volunteer spokesperson with the American Lung Association. My hope is that as we progress and get more data, we're going to be able to lower that number of non-smoking people with lung cancer because we have a better understanding of what their risk is. Anyone with lungs can get lung cancer. Leah says her type of lung cancer has been linked to radon exposure. Right Looking now, her cancer is considered stable. It has taught us a lesson that we live every day to the fullest. We make it a priority to spend time together as a family. She is taking targeted drug therapy and says she will keep living a healthy life to give herself the best chance. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News.